Welcome back to detention. Last time, right before we left, it seemed like uh, we might have gotten some information about about Ray here. Maybe she snitched. Maybe one of her classmates or teachers was acting suspiciously, and maybe she called up the authorities to support, report some suspicious activity. Could be. This might be a, an adventure of guilt. We're not sure. We got this, uh, this police puppet last time. However, well, it got kind of stuck by the end of last time, and I was reviewing the gameplay, and I think I, I think I missed a direction we could have gone. So we're going to go there now. Actually, that's, I don't want to go that way. Let's go back in here. So this door, we came in from the other side and unlocked it. And I ran through here, but we have like a, a, a legs icon in the middle here. I, haven't, I have not gone here yet. There we go. All right, what do we have here? A wooden puppet theater. All right, this is like a... Obviously a much bigger theater than the wagon we saw. A couple of props. Climb up that ladder. Absolutely. This scene. Is it trying to remind me of something? Well, I mean, we've... We've seen a body hanging upside down with a chair under it. We've seen that. Not much of a question of what that is. A pair of mannequin hands. Is it a setup for the puppet play? We have one puppet. This doesn't do anything. There we go. All right, well, we need another puppet for the other hand. We don't have that. All right, let's continue on. What else can we do? Hmm? Something is inside the tree. A track. We did find an A track player last time. A track tape found under the tree containing four tracks. This one's labeled prohibited. The contents are probably censored. Ooh, illicit information. This audio is not for our ears. We have the forbidden A track. All right, I'm going to have to f remember where the A-track room was. I'm going to have to explore these rooms and try to find it again. This was the puppet room, and this is the room with the... Where we burned the money. We burned the spirit money. And then puppets grabbed us. I don't think there was anything else in there. It's blocked off. We opened this up. There's the statue of the president. In here. The phone was in here. I don't think the 8-track player's in here. No, it's not. Huh? She gave a little gasp. Yeah, and this would be why. Turn away. Hold her breath. He's gonna give a big ol' sniff. Big ol' snorf. Snuffing our hair. Nah, you smell nice. Thanks. I try. 
Good hygiene is important. Good hair care. Important. You never know when a tall ghost is going to snuff your hair. This is the theater. There's a piano in here. Uh, we don't know, and there's that cage, but I wasn't able to do anything with the cage. I assume the projector room is the next one. Too dark to see anything. I want to go in the door. What? Well, I mean, just, just open the door. I can't open the door? It is too dark? And this is the end of the hallway. Hmm. So this leads back to the start. We could go up to the next floor. That was odd. Was it too dark to open that door previously? I don't remember it saying that. Door is blocked because of the roots. All right, here's the projector. So this is the projector room. Um, we already put the bloody reel in there. Okay, this is the theater. Right. So it's showing that no the phone number. We, we already used the phone number. And... Yeah. Ways Tombstone. I wonder if the 8-track player is in that room I wasn't able to go in because it's dark. It ends here. Do I need to find a way to lighten up that hallway? So right now, we're looking for the 8-track player. We also know we need to find a puppet for that stage. And here is the roof. This is where we found the bloody film reel. Nothing here now. Alright, so there's one door I can't open. That's gotta be the one with the player in it. Let me just run across this one more time. Did anything change? Like when we were when we went into that hallway, I think the light went out. Like it wasn't was it like that before? I don't remember it being like that before. Right, and then there's this, so nothing nothing different about that. Now let's go back to that dark hallway. Because that one room is the only one... That's the only door we've seen so far that I haven't been able to get into. I guess we'll have to go by... The Tall Man first. No, he's not here at this time. Alright. Is there, like, a light switch or anything? Not seeing one. Yeah, now it's too dark. Music room. Okay, I was able to go into this room before. This is where the piano is. But now that it's too dark, she will not open this door. I don't have anything that could make light. Okay, here we go. It's okay. Find the light switch. Oh, there we go. 
Well, I mean, I, I want to go this way, so... Alright, just a minor puzzle. Just find the light switch. I mean, it makes sense. Lights are off. We should find the light switch. I get it. Alright, here's the 8-track player. So there are four tracks to play. I guess I select them with this. Mostly music. I don't see what's illicit about any of this. It sounds like something with like an audience that are laughing, some sort of performance. It sounds like a piano. I don't like the sound of that. I'm not enjoying that it's like a- it's a, it sounds like a piano, and it keeps playing that over and over. I don't like that. Stop- no, just... Is it going to be- is it really a music puzzle? Is it a, here's a sample of a piano, play that? It sounds like that's what this is. Keeps repeating the same notes. You don't... Ray, uh, do you know how to play the piano? Can you... Any information on what those notes are? I mean, that's, that's what, that's absolutely what the puzzle is, isn't it? what the puzzle is. I don't suppose she can observe anything. Is it stuck? Can't change track anymore. Yeah, this is the... At least you can keep hearing it over the PA. You can't he okay, you can't hear it in here. So never mind. I thought, would it, is it going to keep playing it like when I'm at the piano? It's not. So the options were the bloody ones. There are five notes, and I'm going to have to look up the solution. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. Detention walkthrough. Uh, give me a moment. And give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Piano goes as follows. One, two, one, five, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. There, there's no point in me trying that. It would be like if there was, like, if there was, uh... If this wasn't, if, like, there was a puzzle that wasn't in English. Like, maybe they forgot to translate it or something. I would just have to look that, uh, hello, I would just have to look that up, right? Same thing. It's consider it another language. <clears throat> Alright, that opened up this cage. 
The cage door is open. Inside is a puppet. Well, we're going to ignore the hand. Puppet found in the music room with a hood on its head. Its attire is strangely familiar. Anything about the hand? He has an attached twisted hand. Ooh, the fingerprints are rubbed off. Whose hand is it? We will never know. There's actually... That was actually... If you wanted to solve that yourself, there were more notes than I would have expected. Like, the main puzzle that I think of, I think back of when music puzzle comes up is the one in D2. I don't think there were as many notes you needed in that puzzle. Alright, so... Let's head back to that stage. Wonderful. Got blood all over. So was that like... Was that a double kill? I'm unsure if the person who got the blood also got hit by the bullet. A key fell out of the puppet's body. It's the basement key. Old and worn bronze key used to open the door in the red house basement. All right. Have we tried to go down into the basement? Can we go down? Yeah, we can go down here. I don't know if I tried that. Oh, no, we've been here. We've been here. That's right. Might as well save a game. No, no, this is not saving a game. This is, uh... Yeah, we put the incense down here. Here we go. This is the locked door. All right, ominous locked door in a basement. What lies beyond? Can't go that way. Way, thanks for doing this for me. Not at all. I'm always willing to help if you ask. But I'm sorry to have to drag you all the way here to my classroom. It's okay. My classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You're sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? Of course, miss. Absolutely not. One thing, though. This book list is quite sensitive material. Please be careful with it. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books could be trouble. But it should be our freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that. In fact, I think Ms. Yin also said something like that before. I think you're just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You think we're alike? I can't compare to her anyways. She's the principal's daughter, and they're known to be a family of successful scholars. It's okay. I believe she thinks highly of you. I remember she gave your work a nice compliment once. She said, Strengthen thy wings. The sky's the limit. 
She really said something like that? Hmm. Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Ms. Yin and Mr. Shang chat a lot. You m maybe know uh, what kind of relationship they have? I wonder if Ms. Yin was seditious. Gasp. What was her relationship with Mr. Shang? Did we open the closet and see them making babies in the closet? Then the baby looked at me. A paper bag left behind by way. Uh, yeah, that's is that a book club reading? It's, I've been weak, but I'm, you've told me that the pen is mightier than the gun. This is a reading list. Book club reading list. With proper proper use, I could use this unassuming list to practically destroy those in my way. Is this like knowledge? Is the idea is knowledge is power? By reading these books, it's like I have a mental gun. Ms. Yin? What are you doing over here? As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious. Remember what you did? What? Have you forgotten? Or do you not want to remember? You... Just a harmless piece of paper, right? Instead, I had to die, he had to die, so many other students had to die. Was it you? You just keep causing me trouble. You're driving me crazy. Sometimes when you trip up, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you? This is all because of you. You ruined everything. You had a problem. Why couldn't you have come talk to me instead? Shut up. If you were gone, none of this would have happened. Reading is power. If you weren't here, all would be well. Justice Sheng Huang. Mom likes to bring all of her worries and concerns to you. Something I think is fruitless. But... Sometimes there's no one else to look to for help. My hands together in silent prayer. Here are my questions. I, Fang Rei Shin, invoke your guidance. Ask about... Ask about love. Will I be able to live a simple life with loved ones and family? Yin Po, the crying answer. Do not seek what cannot be. Ah, this was just a humble request. You can be so cruel. 
Then I also ask about prospects. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? Yang Po, the laughing answer. So I can only face reality obediently and wait until God knows when? Do I have any other choice? I also ask about family. Will my parents who quarrel and fight have a second chance together? Yang Po, the laughing answer. You cannot cry over spilt milk. Is that so? But that was my family. My mom. And that person. We used to smile and laugh together. Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? Or is it all just me? Divine answer. So, it is because of me. Hmm. Well, maybe not the answers we wanted to hear. Youth is hardly ever given a choice. Push through the grind until their innocence fades away. I've become a wooden horse on the carousel of life, a jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. This school is pretty big. A radio? What's going on with this radio? Seems like the static in the room is coming from this. Maybe I can get something if I tune it a bit. The atmosphere in the room's changed. Oh, this is nice. Can I look at that? There we go. A piggy bank. A ceramic piggy bank. Big round eyes waiting to be fed. I don't have any money with me. Can I go out the door? Someone's home. Ah, family. I feel like mom's always been a traditional housewife. She doesn't complain even when wronged. I really don't like that. Back then, besides the New Year's, dad never drank at home. I miss the days when he had jokes and stories to tell. There's no way to go to the past anymore. else to look at. We can go out here. Pictures of mom, dad, and I. The eyes have been rubbed off. I guess nothing we can do about that. Hmm. What's this supposed to mean? She doesn't know. Oh, 
Oh, wait. It's, well, that door is locked. The strange code on the door. Meet the right person at the right time. Uh, what's going on with the cup? A glass juice cup. It glows with a dull melancholy. I received my cup of melancholy. Filled with sadness as a dim glow. No one's here. Or at least no one we can see. I wonder if we can use that radio. Let's see if we can try turning it some more. And what now? Oh, our piggy bank has been shattered. Broken up for one's desires. Did she want to buy something? What did she spend the money on? puddle of clear water on the ground. They do not... They kind of fade away before they exactly reach a door. Can I... Can, can I pour my cup of sadness in there? I can. Well... I can hear the footsteps going. Can I run through it myself? There are many doors to try. Ah, okay. I didn't know that sadness was luminescent. These are large syringes. I mean, maybe they're in the foreground. A note on the floor, ad for private investigator. Husband cheating, comes home late. We specialize in tracking people. It looks like an ad for a PI firm. That's right, if you hire us, we will grab your monkey. And take his shoes off? Is what's happening there? One of those standing beds. I hear that's good for your back. Back then, laying in bed, I could hear mom and dad chatting through the walls. They had such a bond back then. I don't know when their idle chatter turned into deafening silence. Later, dad only came home when he got roaring drunk. Mom always huddled in a corner, trying to hide her tears. Back then, laying in bed, I could hear... Oh, well, same thing. Why is there a door icon there? Okay, so it's the wall facing the screen. Hmm. 
Ah, we can set the time. Well, we would need hands for the middle one anyway. We would need... Okay, so the hour one doesn't move. Looks like only the minute hand moves. Might need to go back to remind myself what these were. The bottom one, the middle one I remember were the shape of the tears. It was like a U. But we don't have any hands for that. Maybe if we set the other two... That'll just automatically work. Possibly. All right, let me get my my post-its and my sharpie. We'll be going back there. The teacher's desk. On it are plenty of assignment papers. I guess nothing we can do with that now. It seems like it's the only thing in here. Fortunately, it seems like we don't have to do that little door maze again. I felt I probably should have drawn this down the first time we were here. Alright, so... On the left. Let's see, and on the right. Now the middle... Doesn't look like it's something you could get with, you know, clock hands. So maybe we don't have to worry about that. It looks like that they're reversed in this one because you can't move the hour hands. So, the one on the left was like this. And the one on the right was like this. You can't move the hour hands. Just to make sure. Let's just make sure of that. Yeah, we can't move that. Oh, no, I can. I can. The minute hand doesn't turn the hour hand. You just grab the hour hand and turn it yourself. So, okay, we can do it like that. Look like that the minute hands were pointing at the six. The hour hands were like kinda like this. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Maybe we need to find something... Maybe we need to find something for the middle one. Something to think about. 
in the meantime, we can go back to the radio and go to other stations. See if we find anything. No, it seems like it's only those two. Dial is hard to turn for some reason. Okay, we got it back there. Look at this again. Right, okay, so yeah, they're not all facing um, right side up. Only the middle one is. Yeah, the... Let's see. Dad is... Let's see, if I were to look at... If I were to face... If I were to look at him right side up, then the hour hand is pointing at the six in that case. Minute hand is pointing at nine. And if I'm looking at mom, in her case, minute hand is also pointing at nine. Uh, our hand looks like ten. Actually, no, no, she's upside down. She's upside down. Um, so in that case, at minute hand is pointing at twelve. And then our hand is what, one? One o'clock? I think that's probably right. Middle one still doesn't seem to mean anything. But maybe it will if we change those if we change the clocks. Someone's really got to clean up the syringe hallway. I mean, the syringes do add, you know, a certain homey hominess. You got to make sure that you regularly clean the syringes. That's why I don't have a syringe hallway myself. It's a lot of maintenance. Anyway, uh, let's see. Minute hand on this one going to nine. And then hour hand going to six. And then on this one, minute hand going to twelve. And our hand going to one. Oh, there we go. And then the clock gets bloody. As it will. We can't look at it. Maybe we go back to the clock room where the door was. Try to go through there. Try to go through it now. Oh, hello. Anything to observe here? One day, Dad came home inebriated and tripped at the front door. I couldn't stand seeing him on the ground all the time, so I went over to give him a hand. Besides the stench of smoke, there was another smell. A faint smell of powdered makeup. Dad wasn't uh, satisfied at home.
All right. Meet the person at the proper time. Who are we meeting? Well, this is pretty. Hello, ultra-rich, light-bending man. I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, it's you. I received your paper plane. I was truly worried you were still having trouble at home. It looks like my concern was slightly unfounded. Like the white daffodil, you are innocent, vain, and candid in nature. Perched beside a pond in Snow White, admiring your reflection. Is this our counselor or something? Sure just talk in a flowery manner. Being different from others can be a tough way to live. But I think I can understand that feeling. You said you want to learn more about my time abroad. All I can say right now is that my past is rather complicated. Unfortunately, many horrible things have happened on this land in the last decade. Believe it or not, our society wasn't always like this. Oppressive and cold. Perhaps we should take a stroll down the boulevard on the weekend. There are things our censored textbooks don't mention, but are definitely worth knowing. Paper plane. We did see some, like, a bunch of paper planes on the ground at one point. Do, uh, illicit, illicit messages get transmitted through paper plane? Toss my worries out and receive your guidance. Look, Teach, I want to talk to you about communism, but I can't. Otherwise, I'll get shot. So, maybe we just, like, throw paper planes at each other. They, we know what it means. Alright, well. Back there. Don't think there's anything else we can do in here. Seems like there's nothing else. We have the paper plane. So where do we throw the paper plane? Uh, what's this? Radio station. What's going on? New, new radio stations channel launched 103.0. Hot new station. All the kids are talking about it. I like this. I like this music more than the others we've been hearing. Sounds pleasant. Let's save a game. I feel blessed. Actually, we're back here in the original hallway. An old door, it's locked. But I can't move out of here. Can't go that way. A paper plane? I didn't think it would do anything. Doesn't seem like we can interact. With these other things. Mm. Oh, hold on, the light's on now. There we go. We weren't fully on the station.
Knob turns, but the door won't budge. A strange quote? Follow that shadow in the dark. Then you will be closer to the truth. All right, well, we saw the reflection. It ran to the left at one point. There it is. Uh, just, you know, actually just runs the opposite way. Like, it's going the same way as us in the first one. Then it goes the opposite way. There it is. There we go. I drew this when I was little. It was always kept, even when we moved the furniture around. Father's study is always neat and tidy. He always gave off an air of seriousness with a little bit of his own humor. So here's Dad's personal room. Showing that he has still an affection for the old days. Thinking of uh, his young daughter. Keeps that drawing on the wall. Doesn't cover it up with anything. Laundry. A coin. Save up for my dream. Little by little. But what was our dream? Do we know? We know that we're not satisfied with the way things are. But how do we want things to be? Tickets theater counter. Door shut tight. Here's some laughing coming from in there. Well, we finally have a coin, and we know a piggy who is hungry for coins. Who's a hungry piggy? Put coin in piggy bank. You did it. We didn't see anything happen. What if we go to the future when the bank is smashed? Ah. Movie ticket. All right, so we smashed our piggy bank to buy the movie ticket? The saying goes, actors are lunatic and the audience are fools. That it? Yeah, that's what the, that's what they say. Apparently. Why did we uh use our savings to buy a movie ticket? Uh, it's quite colorful inside the theater, isn't it? Quite a difference from our uh, our mundane life. Our mundane life is very brown and gray. So this has so many colors. Theater's ticket counter. One, please. Good day and welcome. We hope you enjoy your movie. Can't wait to see Morbius. Huh. 
然后大声说：“喊你的名字，让你下来，我会紧紧抱住你。”我受够了你的谎言。Maybe some inappropriate romance happening. Oh, that's who, that's where we got the pendant from. She leaves the movie theater unfulfilled. She wonders what happened to the plot point where he was going to have to kill himself because he felt like he was going to have to feed on blood. I just kind of forgot about that. And what happened here? A note on the floor. Search warrant. Search warrant issued by the district court with a list of public officials involved in a bribery scheme. When I went home that day, father had already been taken away. I asked mom what had happened and she quietly replied, dad got his hands dirty, but he'll live. Hearing this, I felt as that she was smiling underneath. Oh no, Dad. You took bribes? Come on, Dad. You can't do it. You can't do that. Like, I don't do that, and I'm not being threatened by the military police. Receive the assignment book. What's the assignment book? A reasonable excuse to enter the counseling office. All right, okay. It's just, uh... We don't really care what this is. It's just, I want to see the counselor again. All right. Dad got taken away. But, I mean, considering the way things were at home, maybe that just makes our home life a little better. Um, oh, let's head back to the counselor's office. Uh, this was... How did we get to the counselor's office now? This was the last one. No, no, it was... Wait, it was the first one. The earliest one. That's where the, that's where the clock door was. Workbook. Should I put it somewhere? Doesn't seem so. Well, it's the only thing I have, and it's just an excuse to enter the counseling office, which is where we are. But counselor's not here. Oh wait, what's that? Should I? Can I put it down on that? Doesn't do anything. What about anything else? No. Alright, well it sounded like we were heading towards the counseling office. As this is the last thing that we got. But we also got this. And we still have this. So is this not where we're going after all? Doesn't seem like we can do anything with the table right now.
Are we still in Iraq with the piggy bank? If we find more, I don't know, possibly there might be more money to feed the pig with. We will see. Dad. I already know about that. Clock room, but can't interact with clocks anymore. Or the light switch. I don't think I don't think there is anything we can do here. And the only thing we could click on in this room is that. Dad, you want it? You want this? I don't think you do, but just to make sure, Dad. Just to make sure. Is there anything down this way? Oh well, we never. I never went in the in the fish room. I did not go into the fish hallway. Paper planes. Dot to the field. Hello, sir. The teacher's desk on it are plenty of assignments. Okay, this is the teacher's office. You want the book? Here we go. Miss Fang. The counseling process is near its end. I'm glad you're back on track. And hopefully it won't be needing me anytime soon. If there isn't anything else, you should return to class now. I still have plenty of assignments to look at. But weren't we in love? Or did Fong misunderstand? It's over. No matter what has been written on here, there is only fail farewell. Alright, so... Where might we use the counseling records? I mean, I doubt Dad wants to see him. Dad, you want to see my counseling records? No. Ah. We return to the present. Our flashback ends. We return to our room. Oh, hello. We're on stage. cup of nauseating color overflowing with the stench of human corruption plates and cups clash against the walls as father's voice roared through the halls 
After a series of curses seething, all that's left is mother's weeping. Our family was once sweet together, healthy and caring when we gathered. And now, every night a restless sleep, every morning hard to wake, so it goes on, day by day. The anguish digs ever deep. I was shattered into countless pieces, mirroring the crumbling of a familiar world. In a state of ceaseless decay, plunging into a river of despair, floating in limbo for the rest of our days. Anticipating when we meet, footsteps ever quick and slight, roaming through a neon forest, strolling past the dazzling lights. I've become a little lark, brushing past the pretty flowers, chasing all the playful butterflies, I glide merrily by your side. I've been an actor in our play, long before the curtain's risen. Being held is ever comforting, longing for your love embracing, listening for your many whispers, feeling each other's tranquil breathing. The white deer walked into my grasp. What a pleasant surprise. What a turn of fate. What a... I want to keep this moment in my palms for eternity. All of a sudden, we stopped meeting. You became distant bitterly, colder than the sun could melt, air around you freezing instantly, and my frozen body's beating heart, with each pulse tearing itself apart. Again, I'm left in abject solitude, in a house I call home, in a space that I call school, a walking corpse whose mind's without, a sense of loss that's drowned with doubt. Shang Ming Hui, we need to talk about this. Ms. Yin, it's not necessary to raise your voice like that. Why can't I? What were you thinking, going after a child like that? Child? I was already studying abroad at her age. She's old enough to know what she wants. So what now? Will you lead her down this forbidden path? She only needs a push in the right direction, not for you to wrap your arms around her. This is our private matter. It's none of your business. How is it not? You're stuck in your little romance. Did you forget about us? We were already in the same boat, don't you forget? And then, eyeballs. recollection. My soul is shattered into pieces. This is my last resort. When I cannot put myself back together and forget everything, I open my eyes and welcome a barren world.
after as we fell asleep on stage again. As we do. Ray will do that. Can't go that way. Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. I am you. Yet, you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. Memories like mirrors reflecting the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering, Fang Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Well, hmm, what do we fear the most? Well, we don't care that much about the family, it sounds like. It sounds like we already lost our family, technically. Maybe we should just say losing ourselves. Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path, and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. Got an achievement saying, I am who I am. But we are not Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye would never snitch. We did see the world turn like this at the end of when we were playing as Wei. And then Wei just kind of disintegrated. The doors on the second floor I think we could not open before. The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere, and I will follow you like a shadow. Door handle is broken. We can't get in. Sliding doors wrapped in barbed wire. Well, we can't interact with any of those doors, but we can go downstairs. can be calling at a time like this. Well, there you are. Well, we can't open that door. doesn't do anything.
and um, it doesn't. That's that's broken on this side too. All right. Well, we can get her across the gap by having her do that. But can't exactly switch back unless we can open that. She can't she can look at this door, she can't open it. Well, we could walk back around. And that would keep her at the end of that hallway. Remember when you enrolled? So full of passion. Participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities. Grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose... Well, we want to escape. The world is immeasurably vast. There is always a place to hide. You or me. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. Oh, good old book burning, apparently. Remember to thoroughly destroy each book, and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be any intact book pages, or else this would be for naught. Hey, way. You're closer with Ms. Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight. Is that true? I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Ms. Yin, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is... Do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Stop asking questions. I'm as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. All right. Someone gave the reading list to the authorities, and so Wei and his friend had to burn the books. It sa I mean, for what they said, it sounds like Ms. Yin got out. But did she? A written verdict from court. Torn piece of the verdict. Shang Ming Wei, district level educator, is found guilty with students' way and others of collusion with communist forces. Shang Ming Wei is to put to death after the court's ruling. Wei Shengting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces. Reading of prohibited texts with rebellious and corrupt thoughts will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. Well. We know that the teacher that Fang was hot for, and Wei, were caught. Teacher was put to death. Wei is in prison. But Ms. Yin, maybe she got out.
bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminishing in the wind. Some of the book contends... Oh, is this one of those communist meetings I've heard so much about? Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind you all again... To never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Ms. Yen, is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Soon, the book club might come to an end. Huh. Ms. Yin, why are things like this? I'm sorry, Wei. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Shang never brought us any of those books in the first place, right? Ah. I know I can always count on you. Blacklisted to return home for burial. Oh, half a century in exile. Blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Ms. Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrests and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled the, world's fighting, traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. Well, okay, then Ms. Yin did get out. We know that much. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Mm. Yep, yeah, someone shoved like a mop handle into that. Remove the broom. Yeah. Who's inside? Quite a spacious stall. Someone doing a recital. I got an achievement for Collector. But have I gotten all of the files? Note entry. Excerpt. That time in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word. Because of fear, remorse, 
the, re the reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. seem like there's anything to the right. Nothing to the right here. Of course, let us save. We f do we feel blessed? I don't know about that. Have we returned from our flashback? There's a note on the cart. Well, let's... Can we get to the cart then? Where is that cart? Well, it doesn't seem like we can go up or down here. Acting immediately on one's determination, this is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Well, we would like to take hold of our destiny. That's a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. I mean, we would like to take hold of our own destiny, but it sounds like it didn't maybe work so well. It's locked. No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. Well, sure, we can remember it as many times as we want, but it's not like we can change anything. Instructor by... This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Hmm. Ms. Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Well, we would like to try to take them back. 
instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. Easier than you think, right? You or me? the roof? We did see someone jump off of this earlier. But nothing for us up here, I guess. Memories are like a mirror, reflecting the true likeness of your soul. Maybe you still want to forget. Maybe you're still afraid. your own aspirations, but not confessing to the truth. I am you. Yet you are not me. Oh, now we're in the blood ocean world. That's never where you want to be. Constantly cycling over and over, with only the River Sound Zoo at the end of your journey. If the knot of sins to lives unsolved, the bridge, bridge leading to Paramita lies in collapse. So the Requiem with a warm crescendo welcomes you once again. Everyone's here to applaud us. Let me go up those stairs. Got to get my diploma. We got a, our diploma looks like a noose.
would be our ending. Thanks, Coffee Yao and Light Wang. And also the other creators, like Finger Shen and Smiler Sue. Well, it was pretty clear that we saw where that was going for a bit. That, uh, well, we, we got the hint last time that, uh, that Ray was a snitch. But it seemed, I don't know, from what we saw, it seemed like she snitched for a pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty shallow reason. She had the hots for Teacher, and Teacher had a little fling with her, but then it was like, you know, Teacher's moving on. Teacher's an adult with an adult needs, and, you know, student's not going to do it for him, I guess. Or maybe he intended to do more, but maybe uh, he was shamed out of it by Ms. Yin. And, uh, looks like Ray, I guess, just wanted to maybe get Ms. Yin out of the way. But, you know, a lot, mo lot more people were in on that reading list than Ms. Yin. The achievement I got is everyone loves you. Well, I, I don't know if it didn't seem like it didn't seem like Ray had too much love in her life. By the end of that, we uh, had a fam we had a a family life that kind of just fell into pieces. Dad got a uh, with en which ended with Dad getting taken away, and we don't actually know what life was like with mom after dad got arrested. We uh, had some friends in school. We joined a book club, but then we ended up getting uh, our friends arrested and the teacher that we were hot for got executed. And uh, well, in the end, Ray just couldn't take the guilt. As it said, she turned into a patriot for a little bit there and it was so easy to do so but so hard to live with it afterwards. What is uh, about... Oh, this is credits. And setting? Oh, well, yeah. We know what settings are. I thought it was... I, for some reason, I thought that meant setting of the game. Like, where does the game take place? No. Um, there were some choices that we had where they asked questions and we could give, like we could decide what we wanted to answer. I don't know if that affects anything. Um, cause it's like, we didn't get it. We didn't, we weren't able to like choose more than one thing from those questions. We could choose one answer and then move on with the game. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Well, detention, we knew, was not going to be a fun, good time experience, or we could assume that, considering Red Candle's, uh, we've already been through one of Red Candle's games with devotion, but, um, yeah, just, as we might expect, sort of a similar mood as devotion, a, uh, melancholy tone to the whole thing, I think, more so than just outright horror of being in, like, a strange, scary situation, but then, uh-oh, we're actually traveling through a journey of the soul because we feel guilt because of something we did. Maybe it seemed like the right thing to do at the time, but it had much bigger, graver uh, repercussions than maybe we expected them to have. Well, that's detention. Red Candle's first game. And, uh, well, so far, I've been enjoying everything that Red Candle has done. The first thing I played was Devotion, then their demo for Nine Souls, and now Detention. And with this, that has been, I believe, Red Candle's entire catalog so far. It's funny how different in tone Nine Souls is. 
Uh, detention and devotion definitely have similarities to them. But with Nine Souls, they are going for something quite different. Well, that's the tension. That's, there's that chair on the title screen. The, ti the chair where Fang wakes up at the beginning and where she meets her end at the end. Uh, remember, reading is power. That may just look like a list of books, but in your hands, it's a gun. So, that has been detention.